<laughs> now take a seat It's time to get cozy <laughs> Oh shit, sorry about that uh, How you doing? Doing good, man. You straight? Doing good. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Don't worry about it. Here it is. Put it in there right there. Oh, man. How you doing today? Doing good? I'm doing good, bro. Don't worry about any of that there. Matter of fact, come on. Let's let's go up here. Let's let's relocate real quick. Let's get it. Come on. (coughs) All right. I can set this shit down somewhere. I set it down. I'm gonna just put my shit right here. Thanks. Whew. Whew! Welcome back to another episode of Cozy Vamp Podcast. I'm your host, Lunatic Nova, and today we have a very special, star quality, talented, vigilante villain known as Dom Corleone! What up, what up, man? How you doing today? You doing good? Doing good, man. Shut out. that shit up! <laughs> Sorry about that. Man. So today, we don't have any menus. Therefore, I would just be calling Dr. Dredge up here to meet us. Okay. Dr. Dredge, will you please come up here and talk to us real fast? <laughs> we have a special guest. He's a big fan of yours, by the way. So if oh, he yeah. does anything extra weird, don't mind him. He's just really... Watch nice the mic you, man. How you doing? That's Dr. Dredge. Dr. Dredge, can you do me a favor? For the, for the special with Mr. Dom, I would, I would like for you to bring us the finest, decadent, opulent piece of, of work that you've ever created in your life. Bring that to us, please, for, for drinks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Hurry up now. Hurry up. <laughs> Put a little pep in your step. So normally what happens is he gives me a hard time. All my other guests have kind of been like, you know, bipolar with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. his fans. I need you to help me out today. If oh, you want me to take I that? I want you to take okay. that. Okay. If he acts out of line in any way, shape, or my fashion. Just give him a little right on the ass, right? Okay. Got it. So, as always, I encourage you all to roll your poison and, and pour your medicine as we do the same. I think I said that right, but I'm a little hot right now. How you doing today, Mr. Dom? You doing good? Doing good, bro. I just woke up, so. You just woke up? Yeah. Been vamping all night? Oh yeah, it's out to uh, shit six seven a.m. What were you doing? Vamping. I liked it. Oh yeah. I was vamping last night. I was playing Dead by Daylight. Oh really? Yeah, it was. I've new. never played that. It's a good game. Uh, this is my first time playing it. Um, it actually is. It's pretty good. It you depend a lot on your teammates, and I don't like that. I like to yeah. do my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. That's the shit where like motherfucker be playing as the killer. Yeah, and they yeah. chase the motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah and yeah. then they get whacked. And you know what they do? They run right to you. Mm. I can't Why? play games like that, <laughs> I can't man. fucking tell you. They want you to save them right there. Go figure. Uh, my vamping obviously wasn't as cool as yours. Yeah. But, you know, mm. what was your last meal? Whataburger. I just stopped. We in one. Texas. I got it. yeah. Come on, man. Every, every day on. I've been for, had For the Whataburger. people who don't know, where are you originally from? I'm from uh, Bay Area, California. East Bay, a little city called Fremont. Oh yeah, you know. A little something. Yeah, so yeah. if you were to show me exactly where if you were to show me exactly where you were from, where where would you where would you be able to locate? Shit, bro, I ain't seen one of these since like elementary school. Hold on. So fucking cracking. Right, yeah. It's right there. <laughs> Apparently. So this right here is the Indian Ocean over here. Alright, so um, we got the this is what kind of ocean is this? I don't even know. Where the United States at? The United States is right here. Okay, so shit. I'm uh like right here? Nah. This is Florida, right? Yeah, okay. Florida. So like yeah, right here. So you over there. Okay, right. That's west side, yeah. Just in case y'all didn't know, he's from he's from over here on this on this side of the fence. And and growing up, what sorry about that. And growing and growing up, what were some of your favorite things to do in life? Bro, honestly, I used to play a lot of sports. So I used to play football, basketball, volleyball. Um, that shit kind of helped, like, kept me busy. Other than that, uh, just video games. 
what video games are your top? I need, I need, I don't need you to give me your, your top anything of all time. Yeah. Just top video games right now. Right now. That's a good question. Shit. I be playing Overwatch a lot. Okay. Overwatch, cool. Um, man, Call of Duty. The new one? Yeah, I'm, the new one kind of ass. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I like Vanguard better. Give it, but like give a it to me. A lot of people hate on Vanguard. The Vanguard is it's a faster pace. It's faster pace, right? Yeah. It's faster pace. Mm-hmm. I think it threw a lot of people off. Yeah. But I will say this: Call of Duty, the new one. I, I like it. I'm getting used to it. The old yeah. original Warzone was better to me though. Oh yeah, yeah, way better. The Hands fucking uh, the little resurgence shit. Yeah. Way it, better. It's it's way better. Yeah, yeah. I feel like um, Apex is a pretty good game too. I see. I used to play Apex like when it came out and when it was like popping, mm-hmm. and then I don't know, like I just kind of got like, off of yeah. it. Yeah. Same with Fortnite. Like I used to play Fortnite that shit. Fortnite is lit. Whoa, whoa, watch your no, 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 I you... still. Oh my god. Okay. Appreciate. It. What the fuck is? What we got? What, what we got? The... Fam. I asked you. Beautiful. To bring me the finest. I can take a sip of this. You actually can. I mean. It's edible. It's edible. I just want to know. Cheers to more life. Beautiful. Why the fuck? What, what, what the fuck is this? I mean, come on. Okay, calm down, calm down. I've been talking to That's my good. I've been talking to my anger management. I've been trying to do better not to, you know what I mean, spare as I. But I, you heard you heard me asking for the best, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not true. That's I mean, that shit pretty good. I mean, it's okay, but it's not the best. This Dom Carly on here, you're bringing us fucking mix right here. You know what I'm saying? Next oh, yeah. time he comes out and does some dumb ass shit, that's strike two. You Next know time you got strike three. Hey yo, bro. Add a lime. You got limes? You got some limes, big dog? If you don't, don't worry about it. It's okay. Flying on a star. Yeah. Have you ever done it? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean by that? It's pretty obvious. Flying on a star. I don't know. It's a good question. Have you ever walked underground? Yeah. When? I walked on the way here. You walked. You walked a long way to become where you are right now. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Where did you start at? Like, and I understand you. You said you know from yeah. the Bay Area, but where where did Dom Carleon start at? Was it was it like in fifth grade? Whenever you saw like Debbie walk by with the big tits. <laughs> <laughs> was it like in, you know, seventh grade, whenever they were trying to like, you know what I'm saying, pick on you for being yeah. a cool kid with all the hoes? Like, yeah, when, yeah. When, did, when did it kick in? Shit. I mean, bro, like in school, I, I used to like fucking, I got picked on a lot in school. So I guess that was always kind of a thing. I was like, okay, like I kind of just, <laughs> you know, you get that like fuck them mentality. Yeah. But um, shit, I feel like, I don't know, man. I just, as a kid, I grew up like with music. So I was always like watching motherfuckers, like watching Drake and all these other goats, like, you know, and all the shit they had. And I was like, damn, that shit looks like fire. And then mm-hmm. growing up, like, it was always hard for me to focus in school and shit. And I was like, bro, I don't want to work. Boring as fuck. Yeah, shit trash. So I, I can't tell you one thing that I, that I learned in school that like I used today. Math. Like, yeah, literally math. Like, that's it. And, and if you don't have yeah, to, that's you just don't money. have to. Yeah, yeah. If you don't yeah. want to, you don't have to for real, for real. You like literally type that shit into your phone. It's, it's like common it. sense. Like you should know how to how to put shit together. You Fuck know what him. they should be teaching in school? They should be teaching motherfuckers like how to do taxes and Come on, man. financial shit. Come on, man. That's real social studies. Yeah. That's they teach kids, kids that. that. Cheers to fucking that, man. That's cheers. Of course, man. Oh my God. This is almost drop. This is all right. Hell so, yeah. If it dropped, we was going to make him clean it up. I feel like they should have talked about like like, the sex education, I feel like they really should have taught us, like, they should just be real about it. positions like, and yeah. knowing, like, where the clit is, like, how to please, like, you exactly, know what I'm saying? Yeah, Y'all teaching us about all the bad shit, like. They try to make it seem bad, like, bro, I remember, I remember in middle school, they tried to tell me, they were like, oh, you use a condom, but you still gonna get an STD. That's what they tell you. That, that don't make sense, like. How did you have me and I'm here? That's what I'm saying. So, like, <laughs> did all y'all have sex, have kids, and now y'all got STDs? God damn. Yeah. It's kind of a scare tactic, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with school. If anything, just double rep, you know? Yeah. Be all good. I mean, I think that adds more friction. You think so? I know so. 
tried and true. Yeah. I had I had I had a little blow up doll. I tried it on one time. The sock doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. It slips off. I was never one like for the sock, you know. Yeah. The sock the the sock was a, was a folklore. It was it was a time before modern science. I'm more of a just like in the toilet type of guy, you know. Yeah. No, how no does that up. how does that work? Like you, you just, just bro, you just get it done, and take a piss, and you're all good. You know, it's I can dig that. I can it's very dig simple. That. It's a, it's a lot of my legs though. <laughs> the stand up like I'm that. I'm more of I'm more of a shit down and shit oh, so type yeah, of guy. You, you know what I'm saying? I feel that. Of course. That way you don't have to move around too much. It gets the job done fast yeah, and quick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of course. <sighs> Any kids? Do I? No. Want any? Down the line. Like, I feel like kids, it's a lot of responsibility. Nowadays. I don't want I don't want a kid running around having to take care of it. Yeah. I mean, not now at least. Like I want a kid in the future, but right now, like That's responsible to be aware of your irresponsibility. Yeah, of course. I mean shit. I'm it's young, not that like, you're you know what I mean, but it's like for why yeah. for a while right now. Yeah, because a lot of people, you know, they'll go have kids young and then they don't take care of them. It's like, like eventually you're gonna have to take anal. Not me. Not nah, me. like so. Here's the thing: when you get, when you go get a checkup, the colonoscopy. Oh, you talking? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's gonna what? put something up your ass. What you gotta preferably do? Preferably his finger. Like 50 it's, years it's, old, it's, though. Right? I mean, you know, you can wait till you're 50 and have, you know, heart disease, or you could do it, you know, at any point in time. I, I give it like 10 years, bro. Yeah, 10 more yeah, years yeah, till yeah, you do years. anal. If it's, if it's what I gotta do, you know, help, keep yourself healthy and shit. I'm not trying to have like colon def- cancer. Okay, so here's the thing though. Okay, I'm gonna be honestly, I'm gonna be transparent with you. Yeah, yeah. So there's this place that I go to now, like it's in t- it's in Houston. You know what I mean, yeah. And it literally, I forgot what it's called. It's like a colon water. Ho- they put a hose up your ass type. And shit. they you know clean that mean? shit out. And they clean out your like your colon and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's good for you though. It's bro. an uncomfortable experience. It makes you feel like you're like ex- it feel like you got a shit, but you can't. Hey, bro. A lot of things in life are uncomfortable, but. It's for, it's for the best, I guess. Yeah, I mean, my skin glows afterwards, so I can't yeah, say anything bad about that. Exactly, but you bro. know, Because when you get to a certain age, you know what I'm saying, you have to be aware of your health. Like, that mm-hmm. rock star lifestyle shit, I mean, it's good. Bro, it, get, it catch up to you. Rock it's stars go get checkups. I'm going to yeah. tell you that right now. That's the only way Every you stay alive. Every one of them do. I know a lot to. of rock stars that get fingers up their butt, you know? I mean, you know, it's a part of the job. It is, yeah. And at some point in time, you have to wake up and smell the finger. Yeah. Facts. Moving forward with the subject, are you a fan of anime? Yeah. Hell yeah. What do you like watching? I haven't watched it a lot recently, but I used to watch it a lot in high school, yeah. Okay. What, what were your favorites? Attack on Titan, Tokyo Ghoul, uh, Parasite. Okay. Parasite's a good one. It's just so short, but it really, it really it's one of my is. favorite ones. That's kind of what discourages me from watching some anime, because it's going to be so yeah. good that you're going to get mad. Why the fuck you stopped? Yeah, exactly. Um, one Piece, even though I'll never finish that shit. You never finished One Piece? Bro, there's so many fucking episodes. I disrespect you. I, I'm literally on like on 1,000, like, I want to say like, there's 1,016 now. Something, Something like, like that, that. yeah. Over, yeah. Over Luffy's fighting Kaido, Kaido right now. You know what I'm saying? King yeah. Kaido. You know about King, you know about Kaido? Yeah. No, nah, it just, I don't know. I don't be having the time to watch shit like that anymore. Yeah. It takes a lot of like, a lot of my attention span. What do you focus on now? Money. 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 Yeah. All different forms. Only yeah. fans, Craigslist. You can get money anywhere. You can. What so, kind of? What's your favorite kind of money to get? Money. You good. I, I like clean money. I don't really like dirty money. You understand what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah clean. I, I ain't like, never got dirty money. I like money. clean. What the fuck you got going on here? Why would you shake that up right next to me? Oh man. A little mess going on over there. Is is that not? What you think? Is that? That's two. Shit. That's two. That's two. That's two. And you rubbed it on my nipple. <laughs> How do you manage on? to what get a that? drip drop coming like? Beautiful. We're just gonna let it rock. At this point in time, are you looking? How come he got more I'm than me? It. You want some? <laughs> How is it? <laughs> I think he like it. Sorry, sometimes my sinuses act up. Now you good, man. I, I've been had allergies like a bitch since I got out here. This pollen? Crazy. Attack of the Titans, for real. I'm telling you. Attack on the sinuses. It's I've terrible. been doing nothing but hot you, hot you. And then ever since, co- ever since cocaine, yeah, it's been really difficult to cough without people feeling like, you know, you got, you got an addiction to cocaine. Yeah. 
can't really say those kind of words on, on you, you know, you'll get in trouble nowadays. We have to blurt those out. Uh, I'll yeah. say anything about the code word, you know. It's, you you got to be careful, yeah. YouTube, that's gotta be crazy. Careful. What the fuck is, what are they on, bro? Censorship, man. They're it's trying to censor the world. Yeah, they Why? Are. Why do you think they're trying to censor the world? Fucking, I don't know, this new generation, man. Are they too smart? I don't even want to get into it, but it's a lot. Oh, not, man. Not, 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 not right now, not right now, not right now. Not, not, yeah, not right now. Give me, what, let me see. I'm making a smiley face. Okay. Nah, not right now, not right now. Maybe later. <coughs> Bring it back. <coughs> nah, take it back. Take it. Right. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. We work first and then we party later. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. <coughs> Some good fucking shit right there, but you got. I don't know. I'm not. I don't peer pressure nothing like this. So oh no, no, no. Yeah. I've, I've been around. Uh, been around a lot of stuff, but I'm kind of. Mellowed kinda out. More, yeah, I'm mellowed out. Have now. you tried it out? Have you tried anything? Yeah, I've tried a lot. I've tried a lot. Okay, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think I, if it requires a pipe, I'm saving my life. If it requires a needle. Oh yeah. It's gonna have me in the fetal. See, I don't. If it requires I don't, I don't know if crack, I went that far, but you can take that back. Oh, yeah. These are my these are my these are my seances that I've said to myself to be able to remove all negative thoughts. You know what I mean? And you got to be careful even now with who's like blunt you hitting and shit like that, bro. I don't I don't I don't smoke with nobody I don't know. Yeah. And every like all the weed I get this bro. Yeah. I never buy weed from it's kinda nobody. It's kind of I mean, well, you see, you're, you're coming from that, <laughs> you know, down here. Oh I mean, yeah. If you bro, want, I got, you I got arrested dispo, down here. You know, for real? What yeah. You? Shit. A year ago. What? I got pulled over. I got pulled over because I ran a red light, and I had like five motherfuckers in the car with me. I was in a rental that wasn't how even many, in my How name. many of them were men? Mm, four, yeah, four including You're me. Guaranteed to go to jail in Texas. I'm you surprised got, you I got ain't. anything over three people I had a pound. in the car. And I had a pound on me. I'm just telling you rules for people. Like, fuck the oh, pounds. people wise. Yeah, people wise. You getting pulled up? Like, just for future reference in Texas. I yeah. don't know why it's like this. But everybody has a goddamn car since they're like 12. It's just because, I mean, this is what it is. Yeah. No, so I'm if it's not. four or five of y'all riding the car and they ain't females, y'all got to be moving, pushing peas. That's how they feel like. And they, they've been correct so far. You know what they say about Texas? You come down here for vacation, you leave on probation. Did, did you leave on probation? Nah, surprisingly, like, the cop was mad chill. So he gave me this little paper, which pretty much, like, stated I had to go to some class. But he was like, oh, just don't worry about it. So you didn't even go to jail? Nah, bro. It was kind of crazy, though. Like, they had the sheriff pull up and shit. They had two canines sniffing out the whole car. Like, it was... I was in the back of a cop car fucking for, like, an hour at least. Damn. But I swear, you know what they did, too? They put me in the back of the cop car, and I'm, like, back there. I'm just chilling. And it's, like, it was, it was a cold-ass day. It was, like, 30 degrees outside. Because this was in Houston. Yeah. Cold as fuck outside. And he puts me back there, and they got the AC. It was, like, it was one of them... Um, you ever been in a cop car where in the back it's like fucking, it's not like a full seat. It's just, you're, it's like a little metal box. Mm -hmm. So they put me in there. It's just like a one seater, little metal box. And they got a little, uh, they got the AC right in my face blowing like the it's coldest. Really like blowing right here. The coldest fucking air ever, bro. To do that shit on purpose. Yeah. It's a dick move. Yeah. Yeah. Would you do it if you were a cop to the, to the villains? Oh, to the villains? Shit. If you like a murderer, yeah. yeah. What, yeah, what, take what, a what there. If, it depends. Yeah. Depends. Because if, if he was like a good murderer, he's like a hero. But see, her, heroes can't, can't, from what I'm learning from anime, or what I've learned, heroes mm -hmm. can't kill because that makes you a villain. So I like, mean, are villains I feel bad? Like, I is feel Black like, Adam a villain then? Because that's kind of like what they're trying to drag over and say, like, you know what I mean? Sorry, yeah. I'm taking you on an anime binge right now. I apologize. No, 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 you're good. You're good. You know what I mean? Sorry, I had my I had my hat around my heart, and I was nail biting because I was scared to find out on how this went. Yeah. But I'm so happy to hear it went well. Yeah. You know, it was all good. You know? I was really, the root. the one thing I was worried about, uh, the car I was in, it was a rental car, and my boy rented it for me, so it wasn't in my name. And I was so like, you were scared that they were going to take the car I was like, instead man, of the pee? I was like, man, I'm going to be in Houston with no car. Did they take no the car. pee? Oh, they took the pee. And you know what I think they did? Smoked the pee. Oh, yeah. Or sold the pee. Yeah. They was over there smirking and shit. They had the pee on the, on the, the hood of the cop car. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, you know bro, they had hey, a party that what? night. What? I'm talking about welcome to Texas. Yeah. Welcome to fucking Texas. Yeah. You got to love it. Have you made any, like, vibes down here yet? Like, you know what I mean? They this, this, they invite you back down and you want to come back? Or you just kind of like, yeah, all these females are stiff? Texas is Texas, so... 
You know how they be down here. You don't want to get too involved, you know. Be smart. I mean, it depends on what area you're going to. It's some, it's some, it's, it, it, you know what I mean? If you got the city slickers, you got the city girls, and yeah. then you got the ones that's really like, you know what I'm saying? Good, Maybe wholesome. No, no, no. Those are the oh, city you got girls. you got the wholesome ones. That those be are the city girls. Yeah. yeah, the city girls is out there. For it's two sure. different types out here. I've noticed that. It's just two. Yeah. You don't get anything else. Mm -hmm. They might be a little weird. They might be a little, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, whatever. But they're still gonna either at the end of the day be a city girl or be a home girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you get down here in Texas. Everywhere else is a little different. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you go like to New York. Uh, so New York, but you, you're gonna find like the super Man, opinionated, York. like that knows yeah. the whole history of life and, and how it started. It's like, okay, good job. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then you got some that like are super, you know, spiritual. What's your take on these super spiritual girls nowadays? Like, how do you feel about that? Like, with all like the the, the zodiac sign, yeah, shit? bro, and like all I'm, like the, I'm not the, that. I don't know shit about that. What's shit. your rising? What's your what's your rising sun? I'm, I'm a Leo. I don't know. I don't know what the hell a rising is. What does that mean? Like, what does that mean by that? Bro, so I downloaded this app the other day. I'm not gonna give it no cap, no, no name. All I know, I was born in August. I'm a, I'm a Leo. Bro, yeah. I'm somebody asked me like, what time I was born? What time was my mama born? Like, hey, hey, hey. Man, all I know, I came out, I came out of vagina, on this day. That's Bam. it. And then now I come in a vagina. Yeah. Yeah. There you, you see, go. You see how the cycle full of life, cycle, you know? Yeah, you know I mean, and that's what, that's where Mufasa fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's where he fucked up. He wasn't getting enough pussy to be able to stay in the circle of life. Mm -hmm. Whose fault is that? Is that, is that Simba's? His. I feel like it's Simba's a little bit. Could be. It's a little cock block, you know? It's kinda, you know what I mean? Because it's like, yeah, yeah. yo, you're here. I have to hold you up and show you to the people of Fiki. All that. I got them in my business. This is, you know what I mean? Yeah. How would you, like, what animal would you be if you could be any animal? That's a good question. I'd probably be like a... Capybara. The They're like the that? most like you never seen a capybara? Nah. I Bro. probably have, but I'm saying like you're like you're uh, saying. I'm gonna show you. Let is it like have. have you ever seen that um They're like these fucking big ass rodents. For real? Yeah. Is it better than the honey badger? Cause I ain't gonna lie, nah, I'm really nah. pushing pee on the honey badger. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't think too many things. I don't even think of grizzly bears. These ones are super chill, bro. They just like every animal likes them. Oh, see. Like, yeah, they're just like these they just be chilling for a it, is, it looks like a Furby doll. That thing. You for sure seen that. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a big ass beaver. Yeah, type shit. Like, look at it. It looks like a hippopotamus beaver. Just be chilling, you know? It's just living life. Why the fuck would you want to be that shit? Like, what, what's, his diet, what's his diet consist of? Why not a koala bear? Why Probably not grass. A, so, you like, so you're a vegetarian? No, I'm not a vegetarian. How would that work for you then? Because, I mean, copper parrots, they don't eat nothing but grass. See, I was thinking oh, like, no. I was thinking eat, like I'm talking about I'm pushing real hard. You want like a, a lion vibe, right? Do I look like a clown? <laughs> Listen to me. I'm pushing real hard P on you know the bat is the number one because. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pushing real hard P. Real hard P. On being a honey badger, but the 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 primary source is a bear. I mean, come on. What are Bears talking? are pretty fucking Who cool. Who can fuck up a bear? You seen Cocaine Bear? I have not. Have you? Nah, I haven't yet. They I heard it's pretty good, though. Cocaine Bear before the back of my day. I was going to say, it's a, it's a good comparison right there. You know, I, f I feel like they based the movie after me, but I'm not going to yeah. call them out about that. It's kind of like Fortnite and their dances. I mean, who, who, where's the front office to call? You yeah. Know? Who are you going to talk to? Yeah. Mark Wahlberg? I mean, at this point in time. You know, he's going to tell me to fuck off, and then I'm just going to be looking like a jackass on TMZ. Oh, so yeah. you kind of like, you got to learn how to take, take losses, take losses. You got to learn how to, you know what I'm saying, take one on the All chin. All the time, sometimes. yeah, yeah. What was the first time you ever took it on the chin? I've taken it a couple times, I ain't going to lie. Done, done, uh, everybody's done their fair, like, share of stupid shit, you know? Sometimes you just don't think. Uh, you know Myra? Who? Myra I met. What you mean? I went to school, and I thought that like if I really learned everything, yeah, I would become a success. You thought if you what? If I learned everything, I would become a success. Oh, in school, yeah, yeah. And and what ended up happening is I just ended up selling candy, you know, just selling candy to survive, working at H E B and shit. Then I went to the military, which you know, I mean, you went to the military? 
Yeah. I, did. I almost joined the Navy. I was in the Navy. Really? Yeah. Who y'all? That ass, like, Who fucking y'all. That was my, cause I, I ain't, like I said, I ain't want to work a job or nothing. I didn't really know what the fuck I wanted to do besides You would have been working 16 jobs, nigga. What are you talking about? For, yeah. for $300 every two they, weeks. They came in, because you know how they come in to, come into the class and I they talk to you? It. Come on, talk to me. Yeah. yeah. Same shit with me, man. I almost... They had you. Did you, ever go to like, did you ever go to the actual recruiter's office? I did, one time. One time. Okay, but and you gave never... Me all, you they never, gave me all the paperwork and shit. You didn't do the test just, or nothing like that, though. No, no, no. As, no. I just as, went as, into as. the office. They gave me the paperwork and shit, and I was just like, man... Do I really want to do this shit? Bro, I finished. I, I, okay, so I was like kind of, I was, I, ain't okay, I was broke as fuck back then. Yeah. So like, it was a real hard decision for me. I had a. That, that's really the only reason I was going to do it. Cause I was like, bro, like, I'm not making, I wasn't making bread off the music shit. And I was like, bro, like, they get what, the housing shit come and on. all that. I was like, bro, I want. Per diem, food, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No housing, down payment like, on a crib. Fuck. Like, and man. you get it proved for everything. Yeah, you do. I mean, it's beneficial. Like, you, I how many you meals shit. did you finesse them for? Cause I ain't gonna lie, I, I took I him. I made no him meals. take me to Wendy's. Like every time he got ready to pick me up to have me do my thing with him, you know what I'm saying? Like to you get make it, sign you make up. Him take you to get some yeah, food. Yeah, we finna get some food first, and I get there and I purposely be overweight. You, you know make him mean? take you to like Ruth Chris. No, I went to Wendy's. Okay. It, it was. It didn't get that. It didn't get that, that sweet. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I still haven't eaten at Ruth Chris. I haven't either. Surprisingly. I mean, I, I, I've heard about it, but I've never. It, it just doesn't sound that appealing, you know? It, it sounds... Steakhouse. Had, have you ever had Del Frisco's? Nah, it's a good steakhouse? Uh, yeah, it is a steakhouse. Nah. It's fucking bomb as shit. See I, me, I, I go eat at Saltgrass. That's, that's cool with me. Musically, what are, what are some of your, your, your inspirations? And it doesn't have to be, you know, yeah, yeah. rappers or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? We mentioned the Drakes and all that. But yeah, no, nah, Drake's one of the biggest ones. Willie Nelson, if it was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It could be, you know, the one time that... You know, Eddie Murphy dropped an album, you know, anybody, yeah. whoever. I mean, really, I'm going to just take it rapper-wise because, like, you know, I just grew up listening to rap. So, obviously, like, Drake, well, the whole Young Money, like, all them, bro, least that, favorite, them shits least, ran least, my least, elementary least, school. Least, least, favorite, least favorite YMC and D member, go. Say at the same time. One, two, three. Little twist. Little twist. Bitch, I knew it! <laughs> I fucking knew you oh, sucked. God. Okay. Just want to make sure we're on the same page. I literally, hey, I had hey. to make sure I didn't say it too fast so I didn't overdo you. I I just, didn't. It's, it's not that he's bad. I just didn't listen to him. Like, you listening to Young Money, you listening to Drake, Wayne, Nicki, like, you know what Lil I mean? Lil Twist was just Lil Wayne. He was like, just like, there. He was just, top. like, just, it's like a, like, to me, he was just there, you know? It's, it's not. You see him, but you're not listening to him. Okay, so look, these are, these are the, the special... Catered. Can you please show the camera first so they can see we, what we got coming in on this special platter? We got, uh, we, we, we show love here. You know what I'm saying? We come here, you got the, we didn't have the best, but you got the best you could possibly have this wise. We got special it's a little cold. It is a little cold, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I eat my food cold all the time. Huh. Feel good. It's yours. It's a little chilly. See, I'm trying to find out. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell the fuck no. Nah. Oh my god. Just another day at the office. Where did that come from? I guess it's better than mine. Okay. But just put it right back up here. Is that you? You fucking back there? Is this fucking Dr. Dredge? Bro, is this used? You use this? Did yours have cream filling in it? Did yours have a cheese? Did oh, mine, have mine just you have no melted cheese in yours, bro? I ain't, I ain't gonna find out. Dr. Fucking Dredge! Bro, I swear, get your ass, come here. Come here, ain't no goddamn way, bro. You I busted you, a nut you know inside of this and made me. You know what he needs? I think so. Get your oh, ass. Man. Come here, come here, come here. Help right me there? out, come on, help me out right here. Whoop his ass, whoop his ass, whoop his ass. Oh, hit me. God damn, you hit the shit out of me. Hit it, hit oh, him. I'm, I'm about to do some, I'm about to do some, you gotta hit this. Oh, you wanna, you wanna God take it for a spin? damn. 
Oh man. Oh, my fucking leg. You got them game. I'm trying to get off me, bitch. I ain't do. You gave me a motherfucker. Here, take this. You might need that. You got me. You got me fucked up. Oh man. You got me fucked up. Maybe he'll learn next time, you know? I'm good. Hello, you hear me? All right, I made sure. We good. Hey, Dr. Dredge be fucking, man. I don't know why he had to do all that, though. Uh oh. Straight. <sighs> did, you, did you ever learn how to rollerblade? Yeah, it? actually, uh, I still got rollerblades. Oh, uh, you, uh, you know how to rollerblade right now? Probably not right now. But when I was a kid, yeah, I used to have a pair of fucking uh, speaking of like rolling around. You remember Heelys? Let's try it again. That was a perfect shot. Thank you. You remember Heelys though? I did. I, I always wanted dangly. a pair. I never could afford them. Really? Yeah, they were expensive. I had stuff. one pair and I ate shit. For real? Yeah. What it happened? Took, it like took, the wheel went back up? I just, bro, I like was like you. five and I just fucking ate shit. I, I think I fell backwards. I was like, but like I had to learn, you know? I was like 40 something when the Hillies first came out. Oh, wow. Yeah, life has been moving fast. I'm currently 66 right now. Really? Yeah. You're good for 66, man. Have you ever drunk breast milk before? Nah, I heard that shit tastes like Fruit Loop milk, though. It does? Yeah, I heard it tastes like if you if you eat fruity pebbles and you like drink the milk afterwards. I heard that's how it tastes. Wow. I'll try it down the line. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward. To, I'm really one, like I'm one wild night, you know. I don't even think I need. I want to really enjoy this. I really want to like. I want my palate oh, so you, freshly. You want to like, have even a get preparation a, like, and everything. Yeah, I might even like. I'm, you know, I'm a little I'm a little different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah. I want mine to put on like a nice little display with the glass. I want to actually watch her like pour it in. Put a like, little flower petal on it, you know. Yeah, a little lavender, yeah, yeah. A, little, a little daffodil. Yeah. When you were driving, did you, did you drive here or you flew here? No, I, uh, oh, to Austin? Yeah. I flew. When you were flying, we, uh, since you've been here, have you seen any like blue bonnet flowers on the ground? What them look like? They're blue. Ah. They're Are blue they like light, light blue? They're pushing, they're pushing. Yeah, I've seen like some light, like a patch they are of light like, blue. It's like almost like a purple, almost. Yeah, like a baby blue, light blue, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. a baby okay, blue, light yeah. blue, purple. Like it's like really close, like it's hard to tell like what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, like I, like I the seen sky some. sometimes. Yeah. Like, people all say that the sky is blue, but it has like, it has like tints of orange and shit during the day, pink, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. kind of like, you know, what's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is actually blue. That's crazy. I had someone tell me like, some weird girl told me this one time. She was like, um, oh, I can see your aura. And I was like, what does that mean? She, she says like some color shit. She said my shit is blue. Wow. Yeah, and I was like, damn, it's my favorite color. Like ever since I was a kid. Did you fuck? Like nah, with nah, it, nah. that didn't turn you it on It wasn't like that, no. Nah, okay. Nah. I'm just saying sometimes shit like that just gets me going. I'd be like, what, what the fuck? How you know yeah. my favorite color? It's a little, it's a little you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm more like turned on like spiritually than like physically. So, so you, like, you you like hearing that shit? Yeah, if it's pure, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Like if it's like on some, like you studied me and now you know what I like. It's like oh, that's no fun. But you know if yeah, you're yeah. really like just coming up to me. Like one time I went to LA and this lady, she had to be like in her mid forties, walked up to me and my friend's table and just literally read us down like everything about our like real personalities. And I was like. That should be scary, she bro. She looked bad. Like it didn't look like she didn't look attractive at all. But like spiritually, I was just aroused. Like, I was just like, like, what the yeah. fuck? How you know this shit? But then when people try to sit down and talk astrology and stuff to me, I kind of be like, Ugh, what it the depends. Fuck you yeah, about? yeah. I'm saying. If but when really they when sense, they come up to you and they know, like they speak in facts, you like, how the fuck you know that? You know? When the Tinder is going on here, do you, you like my profile <laughs> or something? I don't have a Tinder, but I'm just saying if I did, that's what would be on my profile. <laughs> you know? And it kind of like turns me on. I be off that shit, trust me, cause sometimes it just be too much. I don't, I ain't got time for none of that. That, that. that shit get nasty too. Like you wake up in the morning, you just like, bro, what, what the, the who fuck? Are you? Yeah. Yeah, Zan, bro, back in my, when I, my, well, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. And back in the Zan days. Yeah. I, I personally have seen like my partner Rob. Oh, Zan, partner Zanex a demon, off bro. The Zans and literally. 
help him look for the shit the next day, and then like go inside his bag, like, yo, this your shit right here? Yo, man, this shit in my bag. It's like, yo, what the fuck was it doing in your bag? Like, this is shit yeah. that, like, I don't remember. I don't remember, like, bro, did you try to rob me last week? I thought, I thought it was time to dance. I was gonna say, okay. What were you saying though? Before we, we really talking, interrupted, I thought that's right. You know? Yeah. Quick. We were talking about Xanax. Yeah, bro. It got it got real nasty back in the day. I know a lot of babies that were had off of Xans. Yeah. Bro, Xanax dead ass, like you won't remember shit coming off that. Nothing, bro. I'll only really, bro, like, I would only touch Xanax if I'm taking that shit before I go on a long ass flight. Cause then I know I'm just gonna sleep. I wanna talk to you about this. Have you have like have you ever like booted up too early like for the flight and then like missed it? Yeah, actually I have like a couple times. So I had a couple <laughs> like literally the past two like six a.m. flights I had, I was just up all night, bro, like fucking around. And I remember so like for example the last time it was in New York and I had a, I was in New York and I had a six a.m. flight leaving. So me and my homeboy, we get back to the crib. I mean, we out all night. You know New York, bro. You outside. You want a shot? I'm all good. I ain't even ate breakfast yet. Me either. Yeah. I, I kind of did have breakfast <laughs> when you first walked yeah, in. Yeah, you had a little something. But yeah. anyways. Um, I had breakfast, but he fucked it up. You know, oh, yeah, sorry yeah. About that. Sorry about that. Um, shit, nah. So yeah, we, we out all night, you know, getting fucked up, whatever. We get back to the hotel at like 3.30. Our flight at 6. So I'm like, all right. Let's just stay awake, and we leave the hotel at, like, 4.30, go to the airport, you know? Man, I don't know what happened. We, like, sat down, and I just, next thing you know, I wake up, and it's, like, 6 a.m. I'm like, damn. Damn. And your flight was at 6 a.m.? My flight was at 6 a.m. I, 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 my flight was at, like... And then you know, you know what happened? What? Bro, I left, so, because we, we left out in a hurry, you know what I mean? I left, like two Balenciaga shirts in the closet. And then I realized when we on the flight home, so I'm, I called a hotel, I'm like, oh yeah, like I left my shit. Luckily, like I had a homeboy who was still in the hotel. I was he like, bro. grabbed it for you? I was like, bro, go grab my shit from the front desk and like send it to me. Bro, the hotel tried to steal my shit. For real? Yeah. They, they were like- They tried to say it wasn't yours? They were, they were like, no, there's nothing in the room. And I'm like, I know that's kept because like, I literally, when we was walking out, there's a pair of shorts on the floor. And I told my boy, I'm like, nah, just leave it. like. And they was trying to say there was nothing in the room at all. But you know for sure you left Oh, shit. I know for sure. Like, we literally was walking out the door, and I was like, bro, just leave those. Like, You're that person time. to leave shit at the hotel yeah. you don't want to take it. So I was going back and forth with the hotel that whole day, bro. Like, I had to. Oh, for some Balenci shirts. I sold a lot of it, but, yeah. you know, I, I kept a lot of shit, too. You got any triple S's? Nah, triple S's suck. Yeah. They're ugly as hell. They are. That's like a um, high school hype beast type shoe, you know? It was actually nice for a minute because it was it was different. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. It was kind of like how the uh, the big red boot was before it got like all the hype. Yeah. And I looked at it like, bro, I always wanted the Astro, you know what I'm saying, boy boots, until you see him in real life, like Coil Ray. Those are impossible to take off your foot. Yeah, I it's had a to technique. have three people take that shit off my it's foot. A it's a technique. Yeah. You, you gotta take your jeans out of it first. Your jeans, your sweats, whatever you have on. And it's damn near impossible to do that because your shit is just like coming up damn near here. Yeah. So you literally like, even with these, it's the same thing with these. If I had pants on, that's why I got them cuffed up. You got to take it out first, but, you know. It's oh, not yeah. near, you know what I mean? But I ain't gonna lie, I, I got lit as fuck off of some lean. Like literally sitting down, waiting on my flight. Like the air, the, the like plane right there. I'm sitting here literally drinking lean, waiting on this shit because it keeps getting pushed back. So I'm like, all right. So initially I was right on point, right on time. Me like a foe later, cause you. I think I took everything I had and just poured it into like a simple lemonade, shook it up, and just you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So it was all in all like a six, and I literally sat there and drunk that shit, bro. I fell asleep on my flight, bro. Woke up like at four o'clock in the morning, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Man, out of there. Hey, Dr. Dre, just the. I was trying to see. Just the. I was trying to see. I hope, I hope you. What he got? Up. You whoop your ass. What you got for us? Is this a special? Yes. So we've been doing that a little is. bit of research on you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have some very interesting documents. This is why I've been asking about your past and just asking about some things. Yeah. I have some very, very serious questions, and I need you to be completely honest. Okay, for sure. This yeah. is the make or break of your relationship. You've been in a relationship for two years. Yeah, yeah. This is make or break right here. Okay. Don't lie to me. I'm not editing it out. Yeah, yeah. Of course not. Your 
funeral, not mine. These are all of your lyrics. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be uh, interesting. It's going to get interesting for sure. Very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gas what I smoke. Pistol yeah. what I toke. Cock what I blow. Whoa. I didn't say that. Whoa. That's what I'm saying. Whoa. So the... Why? Uh, where, did, where did you get that one? Genius? That's what so they said? Yeah, it's literally... We screenshotted this off of Jesus. <laughs> I don't know who put that on there. Is, did you mean to put Coke, what I blow? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Genius, get your shit together, okay? Oh, okay, this one, this one's, this one's for sure. This is from Ginseng. You know this song? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can go up when I wanna. Mm -hmm. I'm a hot boy, hot, hot like, like a sauna. A sauna. Yeah. Took some shrooms, now I'm piping my brother. Wow. I don't remember saying that one, you know. Might have been a long night. So earlier you said maybe later on in life, you'll, you'll, you know what I mean? But it seems you've already reached that point. Yeah. When you said later in life, were you speaking about in your past? Because, I mean, the lyrics don't lie. This is literally off of lyrical, like this is off of genius.com. Yeah. Straight off the print. Listen, I, I'm gonna let everybody see this so they know that we're not we're not bullshitting here. You know. Make sure y'all hide my timestamp and stuff that I got right off the internet. This is fresh off the press. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, you know, I must have I must have been on Xanax when I said that. I remember. I remember. Yeah. You leave me alone. Okay. Last one we have here. Yeah. Oh, this is good. This is this is one of my favorite songs of yours. Blood runs. Damn. Think I'm too high. I just had to hit her up, tell the bitch, bring my hair on outside. Oh, man. How long you been doing hair on? I can't even tell you, bro. I mean, come on, bro. You know, I, I'm cocaine is cool. It's just the needles, bro. Everybody yeah. flicks the needles sometimes, you know? Not me. I don't even like getting tattoos like that, brother. Really? I, I really got most of my tattoos when I was high on cocaine, man. Yeah. I just got this one on my leg that I like two days ago. For real? Surprisingly, out of all my tattoos, that shit hurt, bro. None of, none of my other tattoos hurt. But this one, it may just be because my leg like tickly, but. Damn, I ain't got shit on my legs. Did it hurt? That shit hurt like a hoe. I ain't Does gonna it lie. hurt? Oh, right now? Nah. It just hurt when he was doing it. Yeah. Fire. So did you ever, did you ever recover from being on heroin, or are you still crazy? This is something we have to worry about right now. No, 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 no. We, we all good now, you know. Okay. Sobriety. It's all in the past. I mean, we all do crazy things when we're 13, you know, and yeah. sometimes we don't I, know. I was 11, though. You know? Oh, 11. You know, I was a little older. I should have known better. Yeah. But I mean, you know, hanging out with my uncle, sometimes just going to those red rooms, you never really know what you're drinking and what you're picking yeah. up. You know what I mean? He always told me it was penicillin. Oh, really? I'm allergic to penicillin. I am too. That's why I was kind of. He told me the more I did penicillin, the less I'd be allergic to it. Really? Yeah, you're a kid though. You know what I mean? Yeah, you you know very believe impressionable. It, believe anything and everything. Yeah. Um, Dr. Dredge, if you can, please bring me a little bit of that that stuff. that's about you know I just want a little bit of that that good that good good real quick. Musically, what do you attain to be like? What what do you, what do you aspire to be? Do you want to be like on the Rolling Loud charts, do you want to be in Coachella? Do you want to be, you know, at having your own concert uh, overseas? Like, where do you see yourself? Where is your target market of where you want to end up at? I just want to do everything, bro. Like, I'm just having fun. Yeah. Matter of fact, speaking of that, I just got booked for, like, my first Rolling Loud. So. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is breaking fucking news. You understand oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Dom Corleone at fucking Rolling Loud. Can Miami. you give him the date? First time in Miami, too. First time, first time in, wow. Yeah, I ain't wow, never wow, been wow, in Miami wow, yet. Wow, 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 wow. So, first time Miami. It's gonna be a fun And week. you're gonna be first time in Rolling Loud. Yeah, it's gonna That's be a crazy That's a couple of firsts for you. How do you feel about that? We gotta get a yeah, celebration, a little what, celebration what shot real quick. I mean, what, what are we doing here? Why is my shot so? Did you, did, whoa, 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 hey, Dr. Drake. That's a couple of shots. Come on, did, did, did you do anything to this? Did you drop anything? Let me see you taste it first. I need to see you taste it first, that way I know. Okay, let me see. Good? All right. Thank you.
Cheers, man. Cheers to you going to Rolling Loud for the first time and going to Miami for the first time. What this is is tequila. Yeah. Shit tastes like ass. You gonna finish that whole thing? I think. I mean, I was to, to you know finish what I start. How you feeling? I'm gonna drink a little bit more of that smoothie, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck with this. Hey, Doctor Dredge. Cause we got we have to we have to celebrate. Can you bring me that smoothie right there, please? Yeah, yeah. We gotta celebrate, cause I ain't gonna lie to you. One thing a lot of people don't understand is how hard it is to even create your your work to let people hear to see in the first fucking place. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Or let alone create it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So moving forward, there you go. You just you ain't gotta come all the way up here. Just here to okay. Oh, man. All right, all right. <laughs> don't do it. Hey, whoa. Thank you. Just just go. Beautiful. Just it's okay. It's really. It's okay. Yeah. Cause at this point in time, Lord knows, man, you got one more fucking time and I'm gonna make your back and I ain't gonna have no more Dr. Dredge. You know what I'm saying? He's immortal. You need him. He's, he's, he's immortal. Yeah, yeah. He's the reason why I am where I am. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, yeah, it takes a lot for you to even get to the point of releasing your music for people to be able to to hear it. Cause you have to be okay. Like people don't understand, you have to be okay with hearing You gotta, you gotta love first. your own music. Yeah. And that's what, like when I started making music and like for the first two, three years, bro, I didn't like hearing my own music. Like I didn't, I didn't listen to my own shit. But I mean now, bro, like I'm one of the main people I listen to. Yeah. If not the only person you listen to damn mm -hmm. near like, you might break off and listen to some new shit just because like, you know, to freshen up your palate. I still listen to Drake and all them. Of course. Yeah. You mm -hmm. listen to the goats. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I listen to myself all the time. I love listening to my shit, especially my new shit in the car. Like, all the shit. I'm working on an album right now, so, like, all the shit from the album, bro, I'll be playing the fuck out of that shit. You I'll be probably, critiquing it, like, to just to see what you can Super, yeah, yeah, because you listen so many times to where you, you catch the smallest things, you know what I mean? You ever listen so hard to your own shit that by, like, the time you listen to it, like, seven times, you forget what your own lyrics are? Bro, yes. <laughs> like, like, you've been paying attention, like, am I... You hear that I be on thing? stage sometimes, like forgetting my lyrics. Like last night, I did uh, the rap TV, like South by Southwest shit, and I did as like there was one song, and I just didn't even know my lyrics. What? I was just screaming. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but the fucked up thing is, is even if you were up there trying your hardest to rap every lyric, people wouldn't give a fuck. It's the energy that they care about. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All you gotta do, like, bro, if I go to do a show and I got low energy, crowd gonna have low energy. Mm -hmm. But if I go do a show and I'm fucking jumping around like a maniac. The crowd loves it. It de now it depends because you go to something now. I've gr I've grown up in a more urban environment, and doing so caused, you know, me to be around some individuals that look at you yelling and screaming and jumping around crazy, as being buffoonery. You know, they they want you on stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's kind of hard you when you grow fun. up in that environment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. what would you like give advice to like children who are growing up in that environment? How can they find an alternative? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean? No, like, if you're, too. let's say you're growing up, in, like, it's a kid like you, growing up in yeah. an urban environment where it's majority, you know, gangster, like, mm, you know, mm. hardcore shit, mm -hmm. and you don't want to be there, but everybody you love and you like it's, being It's the around. environment. Yeah. yeah, so, like, how would you give advice to somebody else? It just literally just do, do what you want to do. It doesn't matter. Like, you know. But can you give if, someone if, a heads up, though? Like, if, if it's people, not going to be easy. If people fuck with you, they're going to fuck with you for you. Like, they're yeah. going to fuck with you regardless of, what you're doing, you know what I mean? It's gonna be way more people that don't fuck with you for sure. So if people don't want to fuck with you because you don't want to be gang banging or doing none of that shit. Then fuck, fuck them. They're not real friends, you know. Facts. What I mean? They yeah. fuck you like their fuck you does not have more power than my fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that, you with, go, you gonna meet a million people in life, so. For sure. And with that being said, I appreciate you for giving out your message to the youth. I appreciate you for coming up here to the Cozy Event Podcast for giving I us your it, presence. Man, yeah. Your presence is literally a present. You didn't finish your shot yet. It's I'll okay. I'll get to though. that later. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's a little a, early. It's it's real it's real early, but you know, we're here and, and, and we're queer. I had a long night last night. You know yeah. where I went? I went to uh, emo night. It's fire. Is there is there another one tonight? There actually might be, I'm not gonna lie. Down on Sixth Street? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there, there actually there, might there. be. I'm I'm yeah, we're here. So just let, let us know because we might have to slide by. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna go look. Yeah, real. I'm emo. Emoed out. It was fire. Yeah. I really appreciate you for coming of course, through and having us, man. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for so much. So, Dr. Yeah. Dredge, make sure that you um, stay where the fuck you at. And with that being said, make sure you tune in next time. Okay. And we will see you later. Yeah. Drip, drip.
Go, what you want me to say? Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay.